Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install 12 by 24 tile. I'm gonna to show you all the tools that you need, all the materials that you need to do a perfect job. All right guys, so the first thing you have to figure out is where do you start? Where do you start to tile? For us, our main feature of this entire project is this beautiful bathroom that we're doing here. So I'm going to focus right here. On this side, we're going to have this massive wall-to-wall -wall vanity. So anything that happens under it, I don't care about. And then in this corner, we're going to have our toilet. So anything that happens behind it, we don't care about. So my tile pattern is going to start out of here to make this look the best. All right, so the underlayment that we have here, this is a G-Flex Guru underlayment uh, that we're using here. I like this one because it's 100% waterproof. So if anybody's stepping in and out of the shower, that water will never get under the shower here or will never get to your subfloor down. If you guys wanna see how to install that, I already did a video in the playlist for that. All right, so when I'm trying to figure out my pattern, I wanna continue the pattern out of the shower because I want this whole thing to look like one floor system. So we have a full piece, half piece, full piece on the curb. We're gonna have a half piece here and then a full piece continuing over. Today's goal is going to be to get about to here on this side, leaving off like two rows that I can patch in tomorrow. And then on this side, I'm gonna also get in about two rows and finish this up tomorrow. All right, so the thin set that I'm going to be using is this Laddercrete Multimax Light Thin Set. It's a modified premium thin set. This stuff is like 65 bucks a bag, which is very expensive. But what's nice about this type of thin set is you can literally install it on anything. So for me, I don't have to think, is this the right application? Is this the wrong application for the thin set itself? I just use one and it's good for everything. It's worth spending the extra 100 bucks for the entire bathroom just not to mess up your thin set selection. So I'm gonna be using a half inch by half inch trowel. For a 12 by 24 tile, that's typically my go-to trowel. I'm also going to be using this Ruby Cyclone uh, tile leveling system. I'll have the links to all of that down below so you guys can find it. Um, and this is what our thin set consistency is like. You don't want it to be too runny, but then at the same time, you don't want to be too stiff because then it will dry too fast. One thing that I do urge you is that you work at your own speed. If you work fast, you can trowel out more. If you work slow, do it in small sections because the wetter and the newer the thin set is, the better it sticks and the less chance you have of this whole thing failing. So let's get started on this. All right, so first I'm going to basically spread it around, move it around, then I'm going to directional trowel this. Because we want to make sure we have directional trowel so that our ridges can collapse and then the air from underneath can escape easily. I'm going to just go right to about there. Now I'm going to get my first piece of tile. Very, very, very important. Oh no! I got myself. Very important to back butter every piece of tile that you're installing, especially at this size, back butter it. It's so easy to do. This is fine. If you have little areas like this, it's not, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna get my tile in here, just like this, plop it in, and then move it a little bit side to side. Don't squeeze the crap out of it. Don't just push it all the way down really hard because you wanna have a little bit of that flexibility there. All right, very important tool to have is a little margin trowel like this. Because right here, we want to keep our grout lines as, as clean as possible. So what I'm going to do is angle it a little bit and just go like that. So then the thin set doesn't, doesn't get squeezed out too much. Then I'm going to get two tile leveling clips. Slide the doohickeys in there. Get my next big tile. Back butter it. and then install it. You see it right here that I am pushing it up against the shower. You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is grab horseshoe spacers or any other type of spacers and get a little bit of that separation off of uh, your shower. You never, never, never want your tile to be actually pushing up against anything. You want there to be some gap this way, expansion, contraction crap or whatever, you wanna make sure that that has some movement. Same thing over here. We're just going to push that like that. Now, 
I want to get this piece of tile in here next. So it looks like I need to try out a little bit further. All right, we're going to grab our mar margin trowel again, and we're going to keep this nice and clean. The whole goal is to keep it as clean as possible because it's just easier to work in a clean environment. I'm going to grab my sponge and clean this up as well. Sponge is very important to have with you just to keep everything nice and tidy. Then we're going to back water this thing. All right, whoa, we need a tile leveling system in here. So I'm gonna slide that in there. All right, so we're gonna get our tile leveling system in there. Make sure it fits in there nice. There. And there. And then we're going to get our tile in here. Then drop it. A little light pressure down and then just collapse those ridges over. Put this doohickey at the end over here. And we're going to keep going down this way. I'm not going to do my caps just yet. I want to get these two rows and then come back and do the caps. This way I can have the whole system kind of there and then get it all tightened up. So now I got my caps and I want to get my leveling system installed. The best way to do it is to kind of get couple of these like focus on one corner at a time get it tight you see I'm not tightening all the way I'm just getting it a little bit tight all of these because if you just start cranking on one of them it's going to start shifting your tile around so you want to get all of them somewhat tight and then you can come back and start tightening them all a little bit more so we're going to be like right now basically I'm focusing on this corner right here I'm gonna get everything nice and tight and now I'm going to kind of crank this up a little bit and then all of this is perfectly level easy as that now i'm just going to basically continue down focusing like let's say now on these tiles on these and just kind of get everything tightened up together don't rush this process i did it fast just because i wanted to show you but don't rush this take your time with it get them all nice and tight on our curb and our bench. So make sure that you're subscribing and hitting that follow button because I'm gonna teach you how to do all of this stuff. Peace out.